These are first world problems. Yeah. Who are you talking to? This is why I said. <laughs> I've seen. Prince Bel Air. That's not from that. I mean, I mean it's a did it on poem. There. It is poetry. Yeah, it's like a poem or like some sort of famous speech that um, everyone quotes when they do that. Listen, man, this is this is first world problems, y'all, and we're gonna kick this off in a big way. Yeah. Is, is that, did that bring the same problem. energy as, as when I usually start? I mean, at least if usually I do it like gunshots. I like to come out like bow, see. bow, bow. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> <laughs> what was I? I was listening to Sheik Looch today. <laughs> Why the fuck were you? Oh, Dave, you all right? <laughs> I was doing pull-ups, man. Was just one of them days. Sheik is a good pull-up? A good, a good oh, pull-up yeah, rapper? Yeah, that's good pull-up and dip music right there. Uh, but one of the lines on there. Heavy gun stutter. Durr, durr. <laughs> <laughs> what is that ever? <laughs> the lyrics, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Heavy gun stutter. Dude. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> Did you think he wrote that out? Um, nah, she, I, I don't think, think she, she writes anything <laughs> at all. You I think, think he just he just pieced together a whole bunch of fortune cookies? <laughs> <laughs> this looks good. Yeah. Are oh, no. you gonna put it on? Yeah, that's the song that I'm gonna listen to. This is from Benny. This is Spring, nigga. Super Mario did the beat. Mario! Mario! <laughs> God, we sound like sheep. Stop. It's a hardcore shit. And I don't like this. It's very aggressive. Very good. This is this is music that you. Yes, you are. You hit the speed bag, the heavy bag too. I got a real question. Is he raping a woman? Why? Why he doing this? Oh, there's definitely somebody tied up. I'm pretty sure it's the owner of the studio that's watching his recording equipment be used free of charge. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing everything wrong. He's hitting all the buttons. Yo, I know we got some real niggas out there that fuck with this. If you fuck with this track, if you know what I'm talking about, retweet me. This is the hook. Let the beef come. I got my trade. Ain't nobody hurting me. Ah. Hurting me. Ugh. Hurting me. I don't even remember who. I want to hear the, the, the gut gun la ra I think it's, it's about to come up. <laughs> All I want to hear that one horrible fucking line. Nobody hurt you know how loud this go. One hand nah, you gonna need two for show. Show guns blow bright like stage pyro. Meat cooked up like shit in a gyro. Jesus Christ, shit on guns. Party for love when it's flooded. I love the clutter. Heavy gun stutter. I'm done. I'm done. That is it. That was a listen, y'all. This has been First World Problems. Uh, I'm not going to be here next week. <laughs> oh, so you said, but you said that uh, Future is, is hot. I saw the one clip of uh, Sierra and her dad dancing to the song. Who that, though? Yeah. Oh, this is Johnny. Yeah, got yeah the, beat. The, the beat is hard. You know who smashed this, though? Pharrell. Pharrell, last verse, go hard. Pharrell is all over the place, man. Like, uh, you want to talk about a guy that's still just getting away with doing whatever he wants to do. Yeah. Because to make a song like Happy and then even be visible on a beat like this, but still allow yeah. white. Like, Pharrell is the kind of kid that can uh, do bad shit after school, still make good grades, and teachers still trust him with the, the key to the media room. <laughs> <laughs> and then Pusha T comes in like, yo, we can sell coke out of this media. <laughs> right. And then even when they get caught selling coke, the teachers are going to vouch for Pharrell. He's a good kid. Now, that Pusha T, on the other hand, <laughs> he's a piece I know he, he's the one he's responsible for everything that was crown. wrong. Man. Young and move that dough. I tell you that. that yes, that young Pharrell boy is dude. untouchable right now, man. Um... The album was good. The album was good. I want to. You know what's bad? I, I think I'm just at a point now. I just hit a point yesterday where I'm ready to start listening to music again, dipping into what's going on. I'm catching myself back up, dude. I'm in a good mood, I, and I, I'm saying it's weird because I'm taking a nice juicy whipping. Just hit a spot in my life. I'm feeling good. Yeah, you got I'm to. feeling good because it's not. 
Pharrell's album, I mean, like, Happy is the single, but the, the whole album is just so... It's just so positive and so dancey. I didn't hear it yet, but I, I think I could use a little bit of that. He's got a track with uh, Miley. First of all, the dude's songs are being used for everything. Like, I saw Red Bull's already got a commercial using the uh, Come Get It Baby. Uh, you know, Happy has just been used over and over and over again. Ooh, like I would watch him applauding and have Happy put. <laughs> As long as it's paid in full by January 2015. Oh, you got a little time. Yeah. You got a little time. Got a little but push. you know who took that time away from me? Ooh. My other truck. Ooh. My other truck, which I can't even be mad at the truck. It was my fault. It was by fault. I knew the, I knew the truck was sick. <laughs> <laughs> I knew better than to push the truck too hard. I think I even told you to leave the goddamn truck alone. The truck had, uh, it had a sore paw, a sore wheel, if you will. And uh, I needed to get to New York. <laughs> so I was trying to meet my friend Derek in Jersey. Came off of the Ben Franklin Bridge. And the wheel just fell the fuck off, people. Who the fuck just, I, like, the wheel just fell off. Like, I, I get it. Your wheel, it, it hurts. It just, dude, really... So what would have been probably like a few hundred bucks to replace a tire rod and get the wheel running smoothly again ended up being like a thousand dollars because I broke the rotor off the truck. I broke all of the brake assembly, all of the brake fluid, everything leaked out. Just oh god, it's a it's a fucking mess. Right now my truck is in Collinswood, New Jersey, somewhere. I don't know. I never even called them to find out when it's going to be done. Like, I'm sure they'll call me. Like, the longer they have it, the longer I have to not charge up yeah. whatever it's going to be. And I uh, actually got a great video from that because uh, that day I um so pissed off about what took oh, place. Man. I um I walked home from Rutgers <laughs> to Philadelphia. Give, give him a good clear. He came, first of all, he had to walk across the bridge, which I am not a fan about. Of, of myself. I'm terrified of water. I can't swim. And I'm just terrified of big bounds of water. Well, uh, and it was my own fault because I had $5 cash and that was to um, get the car back across the toll, like across the bridge at night when we came back. And I left it in the truck. So I didn't have any money. Mm -hmm. And I just walked. I had to walk across the bridge and I didn't have cash receptive. But Did you get any cheesecake once you got across that bridge? <laughs> <laughs> Cheesecake would have been refreshing. But yeah, I made a nice little video and check this out. Uh, this is just if anybody ever wanted to be a comedian. Uh, who's ever wanted to be a comedian? Because it looks so glamorous. And I could do that. Could you? Could you really? You know where my career's left me right now? Walking across the goddamn Benjamin Franklin Bridge and zero degree weather and a gust of wind that might throw me into the Delaware River, <laughs> all in the name of goddamn comedy. No, no, how I got there, people. people. This shit is not easy, all right? <laughs> I am broke. I have every vehicle that I own is broke. <laughs> My spirit fucking broke. <laughs> this guy's doing it for fun. I'm doing it because I don't have another way to get home. I am coming home to be a functioning member of society, going to get a job. <laughs> Fuck comedy! I'd like to point out that job search lasted about two days. <laughs> Dude, this bag, you know. Say, under normal circumstances, <laughs> the view would be fucking immaculate. But right now, I can't so far, We've right. talked about absolutely nothing. I don't know how we did that. I mean, we're doing better at this podcast. I think we're doing, as a podcast, okay, how would you rate us as a podcast? On what, like a scale of 1 to 10? Yeah. 150. Best fucking podcast <laughs> out there. I, think, I don't even think you even, like, listen to the terms. Of all this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said 1 to 10, and then you just jumped to buck 50. Uh, yeah. I think that, that actually hurt our credibility. That's how that. I feel about it. I see who we ranked with. If you go to iTunes and you see what other people who subscribe to our thing subscribe to, it's all it's all of the best shit. It's all the best shit. Mm -hmm. Yep, they think they're the best dancers. <laughs> Breathing up all the white man's air. <laughs> big nigga lips. Oh, oh, buddy, uh -huh. barely party, but love when it's flooded. I love the clutter. Love the clutter. Heavy gun stutter. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Yeah. No nonsense, no room for a conscience. 